Former President Barack Obama kicking off a campaign blitz, hoping to boost the chances of Kamala Harris winning the White House. Obama's beginning a battleground state blitz tonight right here in Pittsburgh. Mamie Ba is live at the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse on the Pitt campus waiting for Obama to arrive. Mamie, set the scene for us. Yeah, hundreds of people have packed the field out. There are so many people in here at this time. Let me tell you this. I've covered a lot of these rallies, but the people here mostly are decided. There's a different feel to this rally. They know who they're voting for come November. They are excited that former President Barack Obama is here in support of presidential candidate Kamala Harris. You remember at the DNC, he said she is the right person for the job. The line outside of the Fitzgerald Fieldhouse went past the building. People are excited to see former President Barack Obama. This is his first stop on the Get Out and Vote Tour for Harris. And walls. The former president's focus is persuading and mobilizing voters in key states. Here in Pennsylvania, 19 electoral votes are on the line, and it's anyone's game. That's why both candidates have been fiercely campaigning here. The latest CBS News poll shows Harris has a slight lead over former President Trump, 51 percent to 49 percent in battleground states, further proof that the race remains tight. I spoke with Lieutenant Governor Austin Davis a few minutes ago. He said he doesn't pay much attention to the polls, but he believes this race will be close, just like in 2016 and in 2020. We have so much on the line in this election from lowering costs to making sure we're protecting our fundamental rights and freedoms. Uh, and I couldn't, I think the contrast couldn't be clearer. Uh, for me, it's important. Uh, I want to make sure that we have a future that I can leave my daughter that she can be proud of. Uh, and I'm going to work every day for the next 30, little under 30 days to make sure we elect Kamala Harris as our next president. In 2016, former President Trump won the state by over 44,000 votes. In 2020, Biden won the state by less than 81,000 votes. Now, Obama is set to begin speaking around 715, so be sure to stay with us, and we'll bring you the very latest. Reporting live in Oakland, Minnie Barr, KDK TV News.